Here's a video of my 3D printer making a, a pulley for my belt. The ones I bought online were, they're metal, and they look like pretty awesome, except for I wasn't able to fit the motor shaft in through the, the pulley, the little hole. So we drilled through it with a drill, but I think the problem was is that there's, there's two grub screws in each of the pulleys, and those were screwed in. And so I think all we did is screw through the, I mean, we drilled through the screws so it wouldn't connect well to the motor. And so I'm afraid that I'm having some printing issues because of uh, that piece slipping. So I'm printing new pieces, but um, the fact that this one's printing so well it makes me think that, that uh, maybe I just need to turn the current up for my... Y, my y-axis because they have these little pulling these little bearing guides so you get a bearing and uh, you put it in between these two pieces of plastic and you glue it I use Gorilla Glue which expands when it hardens and uh, you can see there's some gross gooiness that, that spilled over through it and so I think that the, the belt gets different tension depending on which part of the bearing guide there is or the belt guide if it's if it's bigger here, there's gonna be more tension when it goes over this part. So I think that the tension was a big issue, and, and probably still is. But um, if I replace these guides out with just washers on either side and just turn the current up, I'm confident that I won't have the 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 missed Y steps anymore. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like it's printing the top. Here's a piece I printed just barely. Um, you can see that it's it's skewed a little bit. Like, I think, uh, what's a good angle? Like this. It's like, it's not straight up and down. And in fact, I think it's kinda at an angle like that. So I think I have some bed leveling issues as well. But it's pretty cool that I'm getting this kind of quality out of it. I printed this at 10 millimeters per second thinking that would help me get rid of the y-axis missteps, but it turns out that, I mean, I'm printing it 50 millimeters or maybe even 60 right now, and it's, it seems to be doing even better. I just had to turn the current up, so that's kind of embarrassing. But anyway, yeah, get a little zoom in on this bad boy, see it doing its thing. Makes fun little robot sounds as it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to replace, let's see, my tripod will let me do it, I'm trying to replace this part right there. So, uh, it looks kind of similar, right? I think so. Alright, well, that's it.